welcome to my YouTube channel, and I'm going to tell you five things to know before you're going to go to the Harry Potter world in Universal. The first thing you should know is all the things are super duper expensive, so it's good to have some merchandise before you go. There's also a lot of little stores really close to Universal where you can get lots of other Harry Potter stuff for much cheaper prices. Also, the wands are quite expensive. It's $50 for the interactive one and $40 for the non-interactive. You can get your personalized one or a character wand. Most of the character ones are not really interactive, but if you get your own wand, you will always get it interactive. It also comes with this from Ollivanders. All right. The second thing that I'm going to tell you is that the regular butterbeer, in my opinion, is not very good. In the holidays, there's also warm butterbeer. I've never really tried warm butterbeer when I went, but the frozen butterbeer and the butterbeer ice cream is super duper sweet and it's delicious. Also, because of the really pricey things, you should really know what you're looking forward to. In some places, such as the Leaky Cauldron, before you get there, they give you a little sample of the product. The third thing is that the park is huge. Harry Potter World is in the back, back, back of the whole Universal Park. There's two Harry Potter parks, the Diagon Alley portion of it and Hogsmeade. They're both super duper big and the lines are huge. So you will have to be waiting for a long time. The fourth thing is that the merchandise you use it there every single day, but when you get back to where you are, you might not use it very often. Such as if you get the Hogwarts robes, you might not use them back where you live. So take caution because, again, they're super duper pricey and you don't want to be wasting your money on something you'll only use like once. The fifth thing is one of the most crucial things, which is what I did right before I went. I reread the whole Harry Potter series so that I could not forget any little details and rewatch the film series because there's a lot of little details that they have in the past from the Harry Potter books and movies that you might not have noticed if you haven't read them in a while. Because such as if you're only on the Half-Blood Prince, you might see Green Gods with the dragon, you might not understand what that means. So I suggest you reread it or rewatch the films right before you go.